Wheel of Fortune. With John Leslie and Jenny Powell. In my experience, normal people are just the ones you don't know very well yet. But there's nothing normal about this game. We're all mad keen to give away these extraordinary prizes. Steve, outrageous prizes, John, and a jackpot of £2,000. One spin of the wheel. It's driving nuts. So, Steve, who's are playing today? Lee Connick lives near St. Ives. He's a music fanatic, hoping to be number one today. Lynn Davis lives near Birmingham. She works in the supermarket, and she enjoy checking out here at the Beach Street. And Dave Rigby lives in Northumberland. He's a weather forecaster, expecting some high pressure as he plays the Wheel of Fortune. Lee, Lynn, Dave, there's a the man, he's John Leslie. So here comes the first puzzle. It has the magnificent seven words, and they make up Jenny. Sing a song. Aha. There's also a cash pot prize in there as well. It's worth £100 if you can solve the puzzle as soon as the cash pot letter has been revealed to you. But before all that, let's find out who'll spin first. Havana is the capital of which Carib... Cuba. Lynn. Cuba. Cuba, yes, Lynn was here first. <laughs> which Caribbean country? Cuba is the right answer. You want to be able give me a spin then. Yes, for sugar, please. Uh-huh. Two. Four hundred for you. Uh, P for Peter. Dave, welcome. T for Tango. Two fifty double, that's five hundred. R for Romeo. Yeah, one. Seven hundred. N for November. Two. Fourteen hundred. Two hundred. M for mother. One. Sing a song you're looking for, Dave. Uh, 250 points. D for Dave. <laughs> Lee. L for Lucy. L for Lucy? L for Lucy. Two. 900 points, Lee. Nine hundred. G for Gala. No oh, cheese. Len. Two hundred, Len. Y for Yo Yo. Three. Six hundred. Two hundred. W. For which? One. You could have yet and got the only bankrupt on the wheel. Dave gives you a chance. Very unlucky, Lynn. 400, Dave. V for Victor. Two. 800. Try and solve it, please. Can you solve it? Go. Whitney, Whitney Houston, my love is your love. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to give her a drink, I think. Well done, Dave. Yes, Whitney Houston. And my love is your love. Did you predict that then, did you? Halfway through. Halfway through. Marvellous. It's a good song. You are a weather forecaster? That's correct. In which form and uh, where about? And not, not on TV? Or no, I do some, some radio. I'm based in Newcastle at the moment. All right. Uh, moving to Aberdeen in a few months. Are you? 
Uh, why? Is that just your fancy change? They're closing the office in Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice, basically. Oh, well, it'd be some weather up in Aberdeen, oh, yes. Yeah, you get everything in, in one day up there. Yeah, we've been there before. It's a lovely part of the world. It was very nice, very nice. So, um, you go, what do you do? Do you actually kind of sit in the office and get all the reports in and satellite? And... Yep, and then we compile it all and produce a forecast, either written or faxed or telexed or whatever way people want to receive it. Right. Do you like the kind of the TV side of it? Or the radio side? Of... It's OK. Yeah. Uh, the radio, I thoroughly enjoy. Marvelous. TV, I haven't had any chance to do yet. Ah. Unless you're going to offer me a job. Oh, not yet. Well, I'll <laughs> forecast the prize, possibly. Steve, what's on the horizon? There's no depressions, are there? No, but I do think Dave has the perfect face for radio. <laughs> now, we've been thinking about this, Alan, our prize guy, and me. He never gets to speak, and nobody ever sees me. So next week, we're going to change rules, and he'll do the voiceover, and I'll do the tricks with the apple and the fish freezer. Choose something, Dave. Mr. Dave, price not moving in. What do you fancy? Come for the please. All yours. Well done. OK, the points have been banked for that round. It's time, though, for puzzle two. And uh, you'll run aground if you hit the extra bankrupt on the wheel. But, hey, you'll be free and clear if you find the extra 1,000 I put down there as well. And not only that, if you land on the mystery prize token, which I'll place here on the 150 points mark, that prize is yours if you go on to solve the puzzle that has two words and makes up Miss Powell. An occupation. <laughs> just, just like that. In which series of films did a DeLorean car feature? Lee. Back to the Future. Yes, as a time machine. You better see, you're on the wheel. Well done, give me a spin. Seven hundred. N for Norman. One. Two hundred. P for Peter. Lynn. T for Tommy. Yeah. Two. A. Let's see. A hundred points. You like your bankrupts, don't you? Seven fifty, Dave. S for sugar. Two. Fifteen hundred pounds. Nine hundred. R for Romeo. Three. Two thousand seven hundred. Five hundred. Of C for Charlie. Two. A thousand. Five thousand. Of course you can. Could have an O for Oscar. Two. Two fifty, I'll take away from your points total. It's an occupation you're looking for. And it's a free spin you found. Catch this. Give another spin. I'll need some points from you, Dave. <laughs> 500. M for mother. No M's. No. You, you may, just before Lee got in there. <laughs> OK, well done. Give another spin. That's from you, Lee. Four hundred for you, Lee. Um, can I solve it? Consonant. Consonant. <laughs> Lynn. You can solve without spinning, Lee, if you fancy. But two fifty. Beef a bucket, please. One. Can I solve it, please? Go. Aerobics instructor. Bob the Dave, you've obviously never been to the gym, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Yes, aerobics instructor. <laughs> See, what goes around comes around. You just missed it last time, you got it this time. Well done. 
Now, you are a star in the making, I hear, or you were when you were a little younger. Your claim to fame. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. I have appeared on the television before, but I was only ten. That still counts. You perhaps wouldn't recognise me. Oh, I don't think it changed much. <laughs> what was it? Uh, it was a documentary about a school cruise. Uh -huh. It was a BBC Two documentary. And how long was it on for? Oh, 20 minutes, possibly 25 minutes. That long? Yeah. And what was your starring role? Um, I think I was um, filmed putting a life jacket on. Right. Have you got it right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Marvellous. OK, well, let's cruise along, safety first, and find out what the prizes are. Steve. Lynn, welcome to our stage of prizes. I happen to know that you note one of your hobbies as cycling. It's all well thought out this, and I can tell you. And what about this fabulous bike? A no-nonsense bike designed for people who love cycling but want a low-maintenance machine. That is it. Um, um, I love um, the washing machine, please. You love the washing machine, yeah. all yours. Well done. So we've hit the halfway mark. Let's break open the bank and find out who's picked up what. Points-wise, in reverse order, I can tell you we've got Lynn on 250 points, but a washing machine to the good. And then we've got Lee, 1,600 points. But in the lead so far with 3,050 points, it's Dave the Weatherman. Well done, sir. <laughs> so two rounds done then. We'll be back in a couple of minutes playing for not one but £2,000. So, Dave, what's your forecast, mate? Don't go away, we're back in about two minutes' time. <laughs> oh yes, welcome back. We're whipping up a storm now with another 1,000 points on the wheel. <laughs> I've doubled all the points. And we're moving straight on to the next round because whoever solves it will have the chance to win an extra £100 by guessing the special puzzler, which, as always, is rather cunningly connected to the game you've just won. Here's the puzzle. It has five words, and they make up Jenny. Legendary character. Which French composer's most famous work is Bolero? Lynn. Ravel. Indeed, yes. <laughs> Give me a little ice skate round the wheel. <laughs> Five hundred doubled. S, please. Dave. Four hundred. M for mother. One. Fifteen hundred. R for Romeo. One. T for tango. One. Thousand. S for sugar. Lee. Fifteen hundred. H for Harry. Two. Three thousand for you. Come easy go, Lynn. Oh. <laughs> oh. P for Polly, please. Eighteen hundred, Dave. P for Papa. Three. Six hundred. N for November. One. If I solve it, please. Go. The Pied Piper of Hamelin. No problem, Missile Ad Tune. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Jerry. The Pied Piper of Hamelin. Well, have the pounds on the line now. Okay, you're gonna have to predict what Jenny is revealing. It's £100 on the line, if you can solve the puzzle. It has one word, and it makes up a film. 
Okay, so find the film relating to the Pied Piper of Hamelin, Dave, and the money is all yours. I must take your first answer. Good luck. Your time starts now. Nothing coming to mind at all. I'll just cool you down with £100, OK? Well, that's as near as you're going to get to, unfortunately. <laughs> but it is, of course... Rankatcha! Thank you, Jenny. The Pied Piper of Hamelin, Rankatcha! Another <laughs> there, well put on the wheel. Another prize coming your way right now. Steve, what's an offer? OK, Dave, here we have it. A long walk, some skillful play and a drink at the 19th hole. A great set of golf clubs. And great news for Alan's growing reach the fans. He's written a book called My Family and Other Kitchen Appliances. It's coming out next week. Oh. Unfortunately, the clubs don't come with any lessons, or Alan, but uh, you can have the clubs or anything from the carousel, Dave. Uh, could the towels, please. The towels? Oh, you're good. Well, we're still playing for double points, because that's the rules. So let's have a look at the next puzzle. It has five words, and they make up Jenny. A phrase. Marvellous. Who is the Australian-born newspaper magnate whose company's uh. own... Lee. Murdoch. Indeed, yes. The Times and the News of the World. OK, you want me to be a well done. <laughs> 900, Lee. S for sugar. One. <laughs> 2,000 points a letter. P for pizza. Lynn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Seems to like you, that bankrupt. I don't know what it is. It's got something going on there. A thousand, Dave. All for Romeo. Three. Six hundred. T for tango. One. <laughs> Eight hundred. Just. F for Freddy. Two. Eight hundred. No, oh, it's a big one. 2,000 points a letter. C for Charlie. Lee. It's a phrase you're looking for, Lee. 400 points. H for Harry. Two. 800 for you. You want to buy a ball? Yes, please. What do you fancy? E for Echo. Two E's. Charge you 250 for the two. And you can another vote. Go. A breath of fresh air. Oh. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Yeah. It's been a long old road, hasn't it? Then you got there. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Yes, a breath of fresh air. Well, we, we knew what you meant, and uh, <laughs> and uh, you've got a way of communicating when you're abroad as well, I hear, but you don't kind of try and translate, you oh, draw yes, pictures. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, the genius! Yeah. <laughs> well, we was on holiday in um, Rhodes, and we come across this fern in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. and we thought we'd start and have a drink. But the woman didn't speak no English at all, we didn't speak no Greek. Right. So we managed to say drinks between six of us, drinks, and we thought it was a nice location, we'll have some more drinks. OK. So we um, had some more drinks and fancy a game of backgammon, but... I couldn't really communicate what it was. So okay. she pointed onto a menu board. So I draw, draw down the board like that. Okay. I draw out the spikes and the circles. Right. And she went, backgammon ah, board. Lovely, yeah, yeah, for the backgammon board. Mm -hmm. So she went off. 20 minutes later, she comes back with egg, chips and beans. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a good draw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, from chips, eggs and beans, let's see what's on the menu from our carousel. Steve. I don't know, it's quite close to really, isn't it? Backgammon, bacon, egg... No, oh, never mind. It is, of course, a camcorder. You can capture these great holiday moments again if you're in Greece playing backgammon with a chip. It don't be bad, but, of course, the choice is entirely yours. Anything on that stage. Well, you can't put up your next trip abroad. What do you find, sir? It's got to be the camcorder. It's all yours. Well played, mate. Oh, thank you.
So the time of reckoning has arrived. Let's call that bank and find out who is the highest score. Yes, the contestant who will try the solar round against the clock and hopefully win today's top prize of two thousand pounds from left to right then lee three thousand and fifty lynn two hundred and fifty and dave seventeen thousand one hundred and fifty that means dave you're flying solo today <laughs> well done dave but unfortunately that means we've got to say goodbye to lynn and lee um have you enjoyed your day with us all lynn yes i have yes that's the main thing i'm lucky with all those backups i think you're mm -hmm. on record there and Lee, have you enjoyed your day? Yeah, it's been excellent. That's great, the main thing. Fun. You're not going to be empty-handed. Uh, for you, Lee, you've got the camcorder, and Lynn, the washing machine. And, of course, you both will receive, with my compliments, please accept the fabulous Wheel of Fortune <laughs> souvenir watch. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Dave, I predict it's getting very hot around here, so you better walk this way. Are you ready? Just about. Let's go. <laughs> OK, well played on the wheel, but let's concentrate on what's in front of you now. Deep breath, and £2,000 will be yours if you can solve the final puzzle, OK? It has two words, and they make up a famous person. <coughs> to try and find that person, give me six letters. Could have five consonants and one vowel. Clearly and concisely, Dave, your consonants first. R for Romeo. T for Tango. S for sugar, N for November, G for George, E for echo. Okay. You've done what you set out to do. Let's put them in and um, see how you've done. <laughs> I think a solitary bing is, is worse than no bings. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um, painful. You got the vowel. Um, no consonants, unfortunately. So, um, you're going to have to go some. It's a famous person. We're all with you. You have 15 seconds. They're all yours. Good luck. Just give me as many alternatives as you can. And we won't uh, hold anything against you for not getting it. Good luck. Stand by. Start the clock. David? Yes. <laughs> famous person, David. Oh. You got David. Give, got David. Give him the first letter of the surname, Jenny. Bellamy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you got David. That was yeah, that was beyond the call. But uh, I can't believe you. you know, I'm so unlucky. Nearly you nearly there. You got a kiss off Jenny. And, uh, listen, well done, mate. You did very well on the wheel. You didn't get the two grand, but you did get the camcorder and the towels, and you got David from nothing. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you couldn't get Bellamy from any, but, um, listen, well played. And you've enjoyed your day. That's the main thing. And good luck in Aberdeen, eh? Thank you very much. All the best from us all here. That's it, eh? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You're waiting well, for it, aren't you? Yes. Well, it's been a really, really exciting day all round. Sorry about all that, and we'll see you next time. Bye! She's lost it. See Sorry. ya. <laughs>